music that comes out of your dressing room. You used to be cool, didn't you? I don't suppose there are any questions you need to answer about uh, insurrection or uh, life no, in general. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, thanks. Star Trek The Experience in Vegas. Are we going to do any new filming for that? That is a good question. I have uh, not been asked. I'll ask the law. He keeps me posted on what we're doing that. But that's a great lot of out there. That's yeah. I think Paramount Parts outdid themselves. In honor of Dee Kelp, who I gather is not going to be joining us this weekend, I'll tell you a story that I, I think speaks volumes of who he is. The week that first contact opened, whatever that is, three, four, five years ago, I was terrified. I left town with my wife and my kid and we went up to a friend's farm in Massachusetts and I sort of huddled in the barn, awaiting whatever was going to happen in the safety of friends, not knowing what the reviews were going to be like, not knowing how the movie was going to do. This is general paranoia, which we all as actors suffer from, and mine was heightened. At any rate, obviously the movie did great, but the, uh, the, the man who's, whose farm I was at came out to find me and he said, uh, there's someone on the phone for you. And I said, who could possibly know I'm up here? So I, I took the phone call, and it was the fourth call, who had called because he had seen the movie, and loved it, and tracked me down, I guess, through, through Rick Berman. And it was a gentleman enough to uh, congratulate me and welcome me into the franchise that he has made it made so famous. So I thought that was a very touching and honorable thing to do.